Okay, welcome to another After Effects video lesson. I'm going to talk about the wiggle expression and how to control it. So I started off with a new blank composition. I named it Wiggle. And let's add some text. How about Wiggle? Seems appropriate. So what the wiggle expression does, expressions are um, kind of a built-in programming language into After Effects that can give it, you know, higher functions, um, you know, more advanced stuff. So what I want to do is, is I want to wiggle. And what wiggle does, it's kind of easier to explain, uh, e easier to show than to explain. Um, it, it just moves things in a random fashion. So in order to open up the expression dialog box, I, I first open up the position here down in the layer tab. Um, and I want to option, hold down option on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch. And this opens up this um, text box down here. And the wiggle expression is really easy. Just type wiggle, um, open parenthesis, and then there are two number values. The first number value is going to be the how many times per second you want it to wiggle, and I want it to wiggle four times. And the second number is going to be how far you want it to wiggle, and let's say 20 pixels. In the case of position, it's pixels. Um, and it's not going to be 20 pixels every time, it's going to be a random number. So I then I do a close parenthesis. I'll click off of that, and let's preview this. Hit spacebar, and the thing wiggles. Amazing. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, I can go in here and change this 20 to a say 100 and it'll move a lot more if I move the change that 4 to say a 40 it'll be a lot faster and the cool thing about this expression is it's not a filter um, so it's actually moving the position which then will work with uh, motion blur because the layer is physically moving. So, uh, but that is just with position. Wiggle can be used on pretty much anything you can uh, keyframe. So let's try the scale. Uh, option click on scale, wiggle. Again, let's go 10 times a second. And with scale, it's not pixels, it's zero to 100%. So if I put in 10 it's gonna fluctuate anywhere between 90 percent scale and 110 percent so I won't, let's let's do 50 so anywhere between 50 percent and 150 it's going to fluctuate here so let's look at this you know what let's turn off position that's a little bit distracting so in order to turn off the expression right here there's an equal sign you can disable it So that is wiggling the scale. Now let's try some other things. Let's turn that one off. Um, opacity. This is a cool one. It kind of gives a flicker uh, effect. So wiggle. Let's do let's do 30 times a second. And again, with opacity, the number is a value between zero and 100. So I want this to sometimes be completely off. So I want to put in 100. Let's take a look. See how it flickers almost like it's a, a light bulb about to die. And and again, these are all random numbers. Um, there's smooth curves in between these values, so it doesn't look so harsh. It's really quite a cool expression. Um, and like I said, anything is keyframable that is keyframable, you can add the wiggle expression. So let's add an effect. Let's go to, say, color correction and tint. The tint effect will, you can map different colors to the black and to the white of a layer. So, it's a white uh, text, so let's add um, to, the, to the white, map to white. Let's option click on that stopwatch and let's wiggle. 10 times a second and let's type in say 40 I really don't know what this is gonna do but as you see it's going crazy with the colors 
And as I scrub through the timeline, you can look over here and it shows you what's going on. Same thing if I enable all of these, you can see those values are moving. Turn on the motion blur and let's see what kind of craziness we got going on here. I should have wrote seizure instead of wiggle. Okay, so that is your basic wiggle expression. Now, the thing about the wiggle expression is it's not, in it by itself, it's not keyframeable unless you add a controller. And I'll show you how to do that. So, in order to add a controller, first thing you need to do is layer, go to layer, add a new null object. And let's call this null object controller. And on the null object, let's add a couple of effects. Uh, in effect, expression controls slider. And I'll just duplicate that slider. First slider is going to be per second. Second one is going to be the distance. And I can then link these values to those sliders and then be able to keyframe them since those sliders keyframeable. And how you do that is by going to this uh, expression. I want to highlight that first number. Remember, remember the first number is what? It's the how many times per second. So I want to open up the per second um, expressions uh, controller here on the null object. Um, highlight that. Let's highlight that 40 again. And then while it's highlighted, just that number, you take this little cinnamon roll thing, it's called a pick whip, and grab that. And it will automatically link everything together. And let's take the second value and grab the distance. Now, as we watch, it's not wiggling at all. That's because these uh, two controllers are set to zero. So what I can do is I can then put this in here per second. Let's go to 10. Um, this one to 50. And it's going to wiggle. But this gives me the option to bring this back down to zero. So it'll stop. And I actually, I can, I can stretch these out so it'll stop a little slower. So pretty powerful stuff. Um, again, you just need to experiment, get in here, type in the expression, remember wiggle, parentheses, the first number is how many times per second, the second number is how far um, you want things to wiggle. You close the parentheses off. And that's it. So option click on your stopwatch to get into that again. Um, yeah, feel free to ask any questions. If you have any questions, um, uh, write a comment or whatever, and, um, and I will answer them for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, video lessons.